Hey guys, sorry it's been a really busy week, but I've got a quick EXO vlog update for you. Something came in the mail. The meta glasses came. So I haven't had much time to play with these yet, but so far, they're pretty friggin' awesome. So how they work is there's actually two transparent LCDs uh, in front of your eyes. Or actually it uses a, a type of optics to do that. That looks like this. So it's actually really cool. It's a basically a glass prism and there's two 45 degree um, internal mirrors in here. So the, uh, the screens are actually in the sides of the glasses and they reflect onto um, the surface of your eyes, allowing you to see through the screen but still be able to see what's being uh, projected. So I'll try and show you what that actually looks like. It's gonna be a bit hard because once you're wearing these, you're not really gonna get the same effect. All right, so I'm not too sure how well this will work, but let's try and take a look. So that's the screen that is projecting on the glass. And right now you can't really see anything behind the glasses. But as you can see, it's a bit tricky. It is in fact transparent and you can still see through the glass. Again, this is pretty tricky to show you through the camera, but rest assured, it looks awesome when you're actually wearing it. So the other cool thing about these is it's also got a 3D scanner on the top. It uses a time of flight sensor, which used to be uh, NASA and military tech. And basically, it's a type of 3D sensor that literally can measure the amount of time it takes for a photon to go somewhere and bounce back. It's extremely high tech and it's only been in the past few years it's actually come down to the consumer level and actually been cheap enough to integrate into products like this. The new Microsoft Connect also uses the time of flight sensor. I'd say it's the equivalent of having, say, a, about a 40 inch TV, um, maybe six feet in front of you. That, that's what it looks like. Um, and yeah. So, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to integrate this into that helmet like I was planning, because it's pretty bulky and I'm not too sure how much I can slim it down without um, removing an important part. So my second plan is, I might design a helmet around this in order to accommodate it. So I'll basically build a helmet off of it, but um, we'll see. Anyways. I've got to go to work now, and I hope you like that update. I'm going to try really hard this weekend to get some actual good work on the EXO done. I've just been really busy lately. So, keep on watching.